Hello guys, my name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on split, collapse and move options in the edge actions of Zmodeler. Zmodeler is a brush which can be accessed from the brush palette or I can press B, Z and M. Once I have accessed the tool, I can hover the cursor on the edge and then access the tools which I am talking about. The first tool is move tool and we have a target called edge. Uh, you can just select any of the edge and just click and drag and then you start moving those edges there. So it is just like tweaking any point here. So it is just for transforming that particular component and nothing more than that. So we also have a split here and collapse. So these two tools can be worked alternatively. I mean, let's say if I select any particular edge, you could see I'm clicking one edge. So this edge uh, is uh, one single edge. When I click that edge is split into two edges one on the top and on the bottom and uh, due to this split the end ones has been fixed with the triangles so i can just click and drag and then slide that point where i'm adding this uh, split so uh, we also have a collapse tool where i'm going to select any particular edge and collapse it like that which is the opposite side either you are making one edge into two edges or you are removing that edge completely so when you are in the collapse and then if you hold alt it will split okay and if you are in the split, okay, it will just split the edge in general, but if you hold alt, it will collapse. So it works either ways. So this is again to, uh, you know, modify your topology in terms of modeling. So in the collapse feature, you could able to see we got a targets like edge, which we have already seen. We also have hole and poly loop. Uh, for the hole, we need to make a hole here. So I'm going to select this polygons and delete those uh, polygons and make it a hole. And then when I just click this edge, you should be able to see the total edges which are there collapsed. The border edges, the total border edges collapsed into one single point. And then this is what you have got there. And also we have the loop where you could able to select the loop and then completely delete that loop like that. If you got any questions related to this tool, let me know in the comment section. I request you to like the, uh, like the video and subscribe my channel. Uh, thank you very much.